think it's wonderful that we have a room full of people that are all interested in risk assessment. When we started out a number of years ago with our courses, we never thought we would reach this interest. I think conference so far has been uh, very nice, mm -hmm. with uh, diverse contributions, different angles to look at, uh, at risk management for our cultural heritage, mm -hmm. different models, different typologies of heritage, people from all over the world. This is a final event of the whole uh, reducing risks uh, project. Uh, I think it's a great achievement mm -hmm. because it shows where we are now and uh, what we achieved uh, throughout these years of collaboration of these three different institutions uh, uh, and in different types of heritage field uh, with different professionals. I came expecting not to learn anything, but I have learned something, so that's good. Risk management has been around for a couple of decades, from insurance, from environment, from other sectors. And since the last 10 to 15 years, it started to be introduced in, in the heritage field. There were the, the few lonely ones like Rob and Jonathan and Stefan working but not having a crowd to pull along yet. 20 years ago, it was uh, not a big group, it was actually people that would stay away from you <laughs> because they thought you were crazy. We took about 2003 mm -hmm. and there was already um, books and it has started a bit. But I think that the collaboration uh, made also expand the number of people that were you know, studying about it, that was, were applying it and I think it has boosted the organizations which participate. We are seeing people here from all over the regions of the world, from many different cultures, and it shows that the conceptual framework of the risk approach to heritage can work in many circumstances, many cultures, many kinds of heritage. It's a very satisfying experience to see ideas that one has worked on in the past actually bear fruit like this. There was a big accent on the analysis mm -hmm. of risk, but then everyone, RC and also uh, CCI, and I think in general, the field, the people want solutions. The need to include management or the business risks. And several speakers since then have said, yes, we're trying to do that, we are doing it. And someone just said to me, oh, we need to have a whole conference on that one. <laughs> so I think that, that notion of not just bridging the communication gap between management and, and risk, uh, conservation and collections of risk, but actually incorporating the management decisions into the risk analysis. I think that's the next trend. How do you incorporate collections risk management in the bigger organizational risk management? Mm -hmm. That will be interesting because that will also link you into the, the decision-making process easier. So I think that's one of the things we need to work on in the future.
I think the next 10 years, we're still going to see the spawning of a lot of new approaches and new methods. And I think that's a very healthy thing. Hopefully, in the next 20 years, a bunch of those will die away mm -hmm. and the survivors will be really good, solid, useful methods. But uh, I think in the development of anything new, it's helpful to have that uh, kind of rapid expansion of diverse mm -hmm. ideas and then see what, uh, what survives.